Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to create a mirror inside of your games, as you can see here. So as you can see, I've got a mirror inside of this locker room in this change room, and it's reflecting everything that you'd see in here, and this looks absolutely amazing, and this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let's open up an empty project, and I'll show you how we're going to make this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new material. So I'm going to press Control Space to open the content browser, I'm going to right click in here, I'm going to create a material, I'm just going to simply call this M underscore mirror for my material for my mirror and I'll open this up straight away and let me put this onto the correct screen here. Now we don't need to make too many changes in here, so what we're going to do first is hold down 3 and left click to get a 3 vector, which is a colour, and I'm going to set this to just simply be white. And we're going to plug that into the base colour like so. So the base colour of our mirror is white, now you can set this to whatever you want if you wanted a tinted mirror but obviously typically it would just be white as that is going to give us the best results. After this we're going to hold down 1 and left click and we're going to do that 3 times so we have 3 different values like so here. The top one I'm going to set to a value of 1, second one will also be a value of 1 and the bottom one will leave it as a value of 0. Then we're going to plug these into the metallic, the specular and the roughness simply like so. So we're setting these values here. Now you can obviously change these values to be whatever you want and you can set them to be whatever you want as well. So once you've made this you can change these about to get it perfect for you. But I think this is going to be perfectly fine for me and I'm sure there will be a few as well. But again obviously mess about with it and get them perfect for what you want. Once we've done this we just want to make sure we've got nothing selected. Then on the left details panel we're going to scroll down until we find the forward shading category here. We're going to tick high quality reflections and we're also going to tick planar reflections like so. And the planar reflections here is what's going to actually allow us to give this reflection for our mirror. And we're going to apply that and that is all we need to do for the material. So let's close this like so. Now what we're going to do is just create our mirror mesh. So you may already have a static mesh you've got for this. If so, perfect. Drag that into your level and use it there. But for me, I'm just going to be using a cube. So I'm going to add in a cube from the quick menu up here. Shapes and I'll get a cube. And then I will just scale this to the size which I want. So I think something like this is going to be perfectly fine for me. It's just a nice quick little mirror which I'm going to put on the wall like so. Again, do whatever you want here. Then we're going to drag our material onto this like so. And now you can see we have this mirror here. It's already working as a mirror, as so this works as you'd normally expect a mirror to work. You get all these different reflections like so. But you can also tell this looks absolutely terrible. This isn't what a mirror would look like. When you look in a mirror, it doesn't just turn the world really low poly and horrible. So this isn't quite done yet. If you remember, we ticked plane our reflections. So what we need to do is go back up to the quick menu up here and then search for planar. And we're going to get a planar reflection like so. And then we're going to just drag this into the world. Now you notice this is reflecting everything, but don't worry if we go into game view by pressing G, it's not going to do that. It will only appear on these materials we have here. So now again, we're just going to scale and rotate this into the position and scale which we want. So it's only going to cover what we want it to cover. So let me just actually change it in here instead. So let's just set that to 0.25 as well. And then I'll move that down like so. And essentially anything that is going to be inside of this box here is going to be affected by the reflection. Now that doesn't mean anything in here is reflected. It means that any material you have, like the one we just set up inside of this box, is what is going to actually work. So let me just move this into position I want and I'll get back to you. So I think something like this is going to be perfectly fine. Now if I were to press G, we're going to game view and you can see we now have something like this. Now it's looking the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to double check our project settings. So this might be fine for you by default already, but you might also need to change some of your project settings. So as you can see up here, by default for me, the project settings aren't fine. So let's go up to edit project settings and then if we scroll down to rendering here what we want to do is make sure that we tick support global clip plane for planar reflections so that's unticked for me so we're going to tick that and then you may need to restart your editor so we'll do that now as well and i'll get back to you so once we're back in here you might need to wait for the shaders to compile and prepare once again but once you do we should see that our mirror material should be looking a lot better and a lot nicer so again it's just going to compile the shaders and i'll get back to you once that has finished and then back in our project settings under the rendering tab once again, what we're going to do is we want to change dynamic global illumination method from lumen to screen space beta. 
Now if we go back into our level, you can see we have this mirror reflection here. In order to hit play, you can see that this is actually going to be reflecting everything we want, including the player character, like so as well. So this is how we can create a nice mirror reflection in Unreal Engine 5. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. As I've just said, we've created a mirror reflection, which works exactly how you'd expect a mirror to work. So this isn't just using a scene capture, because as you can see, obviously when you move the camera like this, you're actually going to be seeing the reflections you'd expect to see. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.